The issue of same-sex marriage is getting more and more attention with a lot of people on both sides. Do I support granting same-sex benefits? President Bush earlier today speaking out in favor of a constitutional amendment to ban same-sex marriage. Gay people are just saying, listen, we are now fighting for our civil rights. Is gay marriage a democratic republic issue? Whether gays and lesbians should be able to get married? I don't support gay marriage. Um, same-sex marriage, is this an equal rights issue or an issue of religious belief? So the issue at hand is that same-sex marriage is not legalized federally, or even in most states. So as you can imagine, and probably know, there's a huge mumbo-jumbo surrounding this issue in regards to differing opinions and what should be done about it. So I went around school asking people what their opinions on gay marriage were. I asked them their opinions and why they felt that way. So do you support same-sex marriage? I am pro-gay marriage. Why? Because gays are people too and should have the right to get married if they love one another. I don't see why not. Yeah. I mean, I don't. If two people are in love, then why shouldn't they be able to? Uh -huh. I totally agree. I think that everyone's entitled to what they believe in, so, yeah. I personally think that gay marriage exists. As far as I'm concerned, marriage is some sort of union between two people, two humans, and whether they're male or female doesn't honestly make a difference at all. Like, I don't see why being gay makes you different from the person next to you who's straight. I honestly don't see the difference. Yes, I think it should be legalized. Why? A, saying that it's illegal is discriminating, discriminating against an entire group of people. Also, we're supposed to have a separation of church and state and to have a law that is specifically, like the grounds for not having gay people allowed to marry is that it violates some sort of religious foundation type thing and that it offends people and their religion, but I don't think a law should be based on people being offended about their religion. Yes. All right, why? Um, because it's like people's opinion and stuff and like, if you feel that way, then you should be able to get married wherever you like you're living. Like you shouldn't be like forced to move just to be like the person that you like. I think it should be legal, yeah. Oh, uh, why? Um, because everyone deserves to find someone they love and marry them. I Vegas. honestly don't think it's that big of a deal. I think people make it way too big of a deal out of it. I think it's fair for whoever you should marry, whoever you really love. It doesn't matter what gender it is. And, you know, if people should have the right to marry whoever they want to. Not just because of gender. Mm -hmm. I think they should. <laughs> I think I definitely think it should be legal. Like absolutely. All right. It's not right for them to stop that from happening. And then there are some more well-known people. And I think there are a lot of people who have had trouble coming to terms with that because they they see marriage as traditionally between a man and a woman. Uh, but I also know that you know when couples are committed um, to each other and love each other that. Um, they ought to have, I think, the same sort of rights that, that everyone has. Many more people cite the fact that same-sex couples are denied many rights. These rights include tax breaks, hospital visitation rights, social security benefits, property inheritance, on a state level, adoption guidelines. It has been shown that same-sex couples are denied over a thousand rights just for the fact that they are not married. So while it's great that plenty of people are pro-gay marriage, there are plenty of people that aren't. Unfortunately, it has been very difficult to find anyone who is anti-gay marriage. But here's their perspective anyway. This is the National Organization for Marriage. The National Organization for Marriage is a nonprofit organization that claims to have a mission to protect marriage and the faith communities that sustain it. What NOM is really about is denying same-sex couples of marriage and civil unions. You may know NOM for their 2009 advertisement, Gathering Storm. There's a storm gathering. The clouds are this advertisement and the group responsible for it insist that same-sex marriage will destroy the institution of marriage 
and it will ruin other people's lives. They feel it will remove their rights rather than the opposing view, which is that it will give more people rights, not remove. I'm part of a New Jersey church group punished by the government because we can't support same-sex marriage. I'm a Massachusetts parent, helplessly watching public schools teach my son that gay marriage is Furthermore, they believe that a child needs both a mother and a father to grow up in a safe and healthy manner. They feel that they are protecting families. What they're implying is that everyone should have children. They feel that they're protecting the sanctity of the institution of marriage. This explains why they're also actively fighting divorce. Oh wait, they're not. Others claim that the Bible says it's wrong. Firstly, the same book in the Bible that says it's wrong also says a great number of other things are wrong, such as stoning your wife, selling your daughter into slavery, eating shellfish, but you're not fighting against that. For those of you that aren't listening to that, I have five words for you. Separation of church and state. We live in a secular nation with freedom to be religious. Religion should not dictate how we live as a nation. Many people try to dance around that line though, and no one is more guilty of that than politicians. Many politicians like to compromise between the whole idea of same-sex marriage and not same-sex marriage. That compromise is civil union. So I gotta ask you, what is your opinion on civil unions? What is your opinion on civil unions? Do you know what civil unions are? Not really. What is your opinion on civil unions? Do you know what civil unions are? No. Okay. Civil unions. Um, if I knew what they were... I kind of know about the civil unions, like teachers, right? And the, like the protests in Wisconsin. Uh, no. No. That's not it? Okay. <laughs> Civil unions? Yeah. I don't even know what that is. Civil unions? I have no idea what that means. Okay, do you? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think so. What is your opinion on civil unions? They're great. Do you know what civil unions are? <laughs> no, not a clue. I don't know what they are. Uh, so in my quest towards understanding people's opinions, I've discovered that surprisingly few people know what civil unions are. And, since you probably don't know what civil unions are, I'm going to educate you on the matter. Essentially, civil unions are for same-sex couples. And they can provide up to everything that legal marriage has. However, they are under the name civil union. If you're having difficulties understanding this, um, here's this. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a little diagram here, alright? Alright, so let's say that marriage is a water fountain. Now, this water fountain provides clean, healthy water that will hydrate you and, you know, do generally what water does. But let's say that there's another water fountain too. This water fountain provides exactly the same purity, the same health benefits, it'll hydrate you in the same manner. Now let's say that only certain people can drink from each water fountain. Since we're speaking in terms of marriage, we'll label one hetero and one homo. Hetero means traditional mar marriage, and homo means uh, civil unions. Wait, this reminds me of something. Well, whatever. Anyway, say that it's actually um, a bus. Now, everyone is allowed to sit on the bus. Everyone is. But only certain people can sit in certain sections. Everyone gets a seat, but people in traditional marriages sit in one place, and people bound by civil unions sit in another. Hold on, it's similar to something. Okay, forget that. Let's say there are, there's a school system. Um, no, there's two school systems. Uh, one each for a certain type of person. Now, each of these school systems provide the same education and the same opportunity. But one is for people in a traditional marriage and one is for people bound by civil union. Oh, I get it. This is similar to the civil rights movement. In 1954, there was a landmark moment in the civil rights movement. That moment 
was Brown v. Board of Education. This Supreme Court decision overturned Plessy v. Ferguson, which made segregation legal. Brown v. Board of Education destroyed the idea of separate but equal. It made segregation illegal. Unfortunately, civil unions still enforce this idea of separate but equal. It's pretty simple. While although civil unions may have all of the rights and privileges as marriage, it's still the separate school systems, still the water fountains, it's still the separate spaces on the bus. Civil unions are just another form of separate but equal. And that's unconstitutional. I'm not in favor of gay marriage, but I'm in favor of a very strong civil union. I do believe strong civil unions and the substantive rights that go with that. Gay marriage is something called a civil union. Well, I'd rather have neither, to tell you the truth. What is at the heart of your opposition to same-sex marriage? Well, Joe, I prefer to think of it as being very positive about civil unions. Um. <laughs> Unfortunately, one thing stands in the way of same-sex marriage being legalized federally. The Defense of Marriage Act. The Defense of Marriage Act is an act signed in 1996 by President Bill Clinton. In the Defense of Marriage Act, marriage is defined as being between one man and one woman. That's unequal treatment towards gays and lesbians. Where is and isn't same-sex marriage legal? So far, same-sex marriages have been legalized in five states. Connecticut, Iowa, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Vermont. Also, Washington, D.C. It has not been legalized in New York, Rhode Island, and Maryland, but it is recognized. It is not legal and not recognized in any other. What policies do I propose? I propose that same-sex marriage is legalized federally and made equal to that of heterosexual marriage. I also propose that civil unions are abolished completely. And lastly, that the Defense of Marriage Act is abolished as well. Same-sex marriage should be legalized. I hope you agree with me on that. <laughs>